So in this video, we're going to create this splintered wood effect. Sick. So let's try this super quick. Shift A, mesh, add in a plane. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and scale that puppy down. From here, right click, subdivide, 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 subdivide. Let's give it quite a bit of geometry here. In here to the modifiers, add modifier. We're going into the displace modifier. From here, I'm going to click a new displace and we're going to click on this little button on the end there. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and add clouds. Now, this is what we've got at the moment, but because we're making wood, I want this like super jagged. So the size, I'm going to make like 0.02. There we go. Sick. So from here, what I got to do is make sure we've got bull tool enabled. So edit preferences, bull tool, turn that puppy on. From here, select our jagged piece here. Shift left click our piece of wood. Control numpad slash. There we go. However, we've got a problem where the bottom half has disappeared. Not to worry. Let's add a little bit of extra geometry onto this. So I'm just going to put a few edge loops here and a few edge heaps there. Now we've got our extra geometry. So the one thing we need to do is come into our modifiers. We need to apply the modifier. However, if I press Control A, nothing happens. Drop down, nothing happens. The apply is grayed out. So what we actually need to do is come up here into the object. Let's come into the relations, make single user, object and data. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Control A, apply that modifier, apply that modifier, GZ, and we got broken wood. Like and subscribe. Just do it. Do it.